Well, I've come to Crewe to find out more about one of the nominees for this year's Champion of Champions Award. Now, this nominee has raised over £3,000 for various charities and good causes. Now, that in itself is remarkable, but even more remarkable when you consider that Rebecca Ollier is just 12 years old. So, who better to tell us more about this champion fundraiser than Rebecca's parents, Tony and Tracy? Tracy, Tony, a very inspiring story with uh, unfortunately tragic beginnings. Tell me, um, if you would, about you know the, the background to Rebecca's fundraising. Uh, a brother, Jimmy, was uh, unfortunately born with a heart condition from birth. He'd uh, already had two operations whilst waiting for a third. He caught pneumonia and was taken into Old Hay, Liverpool, um, which he, he did get over that, but unfortunately he was rushed in again, um, deteriorated and passed away in March 2006. Uh, from then on, Rebecca, well, she was very close to Jimmy, but she's, she took it on herself to, to do something about it and raise money for Ronald McDonald House, which is a home from home for parents, which is where we were when... Jimmy died, so it's something that's very close to all the family. For a sister to lose a brother like that, you know, at such a young age, it must have had a dreadful impact on her, as well as obviously the whole family. I mean, obviously there was a lot of to get over, but she she coped really, really well, and I think again this is a way of coping, and she feels this is you know what she wants to do, so she just gets on with it, and if it makes her feel better, then. It's got to be a good thing, and it's, it is to a good thing because it's totally run on charity, and it's only because of that place because he was due to go to Newcastle to, for a heart transplant in the end, but it didn't make it because he passed away before then. But we realised then that if we'd have gone to there, we wouldn't have been there at his death. All of us were because we were only across the road from the hospital. We were able to to all say our goodbyes, which meant a lot to us and Rebecca. Tracy, Tony, tell me if you would about all the sorts of activities, fundraising activities that she's been up to. Well, the first one she did was a fun fire at school. And then she uh, used her pocket money to buy some teddy bears and she raffled them off. Yeah, she actually went round the classes yeah. to do that with a friend. So, yeah. that again, that was something she organised totally on her own. Yeah. And, and she was about, well, she was nine and a half then, so that was quite good. That was at junior school. Yeah. What else has what else she been doing? Um, a car wash, didn't she? Yeah, she wrote to McDonald's, yeah. the, the, the chairman of McDonald's, who's got the franchise here at Crew, and she wrote a letter to him. Not no, We didn't know nothing uh, about it. She, she, she wrote to the top man and uh, posted <laughs> it off to him. And, and, you know, he was a lovely, lovely gentleman, and he, he came up with some ideas, so we went with the car wash and... Face painting. And, and, and fate, yeah, yeah. They, they, they did that. And they donated a, a pound for every Big Mac they sold. And quite a bit of media coverage as well, I think, for what for what Rebecca's been doing for her fundraising, yeah? From the local papers, yeah, she's forever in it. People joke at work when I told them about this. They said, what was it for, for the person most in the Chronicle? Because yeah. over the last two years, she has been in it. And nearly every week. Oh, yeah. She strikes me as a bit of a shy girl, uh, she she can be, but when when she's <laughs> yeah, when, minded, yeah she? when she puts when she says she wants to do something, that's, she does it. She does she it. Does it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, there's no stopping her. Excellent, Tracy, Tony, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Well, we've heard how Rebecca Ollier has used every opportunity to raise money. Let's uh, talk now to the champion fundraiser herself, Rebecca. Well done. Many congratulations on the amount of money that you've. Uh, you've raised. Tell me a bit about the, the charities that you've been raising money for. Um, we're raising for Ronald McDonald Hope House. So you are going to carry on? Yeah. When you set about this, did you have any idea that you were going to raise as much as £3,000? No, I just thought it'd just be like bits of money and then I'd stop. But I um, really enjoy it. But what sort of um, gave you the, the inspiration to do it in the first place? I mean, Obviously, it's all in memory of your brother, but very difficult for you know a young lady like yourself, you know, to to set about fundraising in this way. Um, 
Well, it's just really that when he died, all the people there were very nice and um, no one ever gives anything back to him. So I decided that I'd fundraise in mem memory of him. Do you think he would be proud of what you've done? Um, I hope so, yeah. What other charities have you been helping? Um, we've donated some money to Cry from our non-school uniform day. And Cry is the organisation that is um, supporting young people with cardiac problems, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about being nominated for this award? Well, I didn't really know anything about it. It was just one of my teachers told me inside class, said, oh, you're in the Chronicle. And then I come home and my mum and dad told me that I'd been voted. So, yeah, I'm really happy about it. A lot of Jimmy's friends and my friends have helped out with it. So they're really nice as well. The um, friends at school have also helped set up a website, is that right? Um, it's just pictures of him and um, messages from him and all his mates are on there. And like, you can put, give him the love and share love and stuff like that. Yeah. I guess you miss him lots. Um, he was still a fairly active lad though, despite his ill health, am I right? Yeah, um, he liked football, rugby, anything basically. And what sort of things did you like doing together? Um, he used to play for the rugby team and the football team at school. And um, he used to play in like the back garden with me and stuff like that. We were very close to like best mates. Well done, thank you very much indeed. Well, let's hear now from Jan Thomas at Ronald McDonald House on how important fundraising is to them. It's important for two reasons. One is that we can't um, run this house without family fundraising. But in particular for Rebecca, it's one way of her remembering her brother, Jimmy, who sadly passed away. It's a way for her to actually maybe come to terms with the grief, but also of actually doing something in Jimmy's memory. And it's fantastic that a young girl should take that on board. Very often the siblings are forgotten about. Um, very often they're the ones left out while everybody's attention turns to the patient. And uh, we believe that siblings are very special. And in Rebecca's case, she's actually proven herself to be even more special by uh, doing this fantastic fundraising for this house. So you've heard all about Rebecca Ollier, a young person who has worked tirelessly to help so many people and to keep the memory of her beloved brother Jimmy alive. And she shows no sign of stopping. Well, before we find out who is this year's champion of champions, there are a few people who have something to say to Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Uh, you remember me? I'm your year six teacher at uh, Monks Coppernall Primary School. Uh, congratulations on being nominated for this award. Uh, you thoroughly deserve it with all the hard work you've put in with your fundraising. All right, Rebecca, it's your dad. I'm really proud of you. I'm very lucky to have you as my daughter. Best of luck for tonight, love. Love you. Good luck, Rebecca. You've done us all proud. Well done. Love you loads. I'm very proud of you. Um, my family's proud of you. You've done very well. Good luck. Rebecca, this is my chance to say good luck from everybody at Ronald McDonald House. What you've achieved in Jimmy's memory and in fundraising for this house is fantastic for somebody so young. We hope you're successful uh, with this award. You deserve everything you get. Everything you do, Becky, you always do amazingly well. Good luck with Champion of Champions. Have a nice time, Rebecca, and good luck. Becky, we're really proud of you. Well done. Congratulations for being nominated. Well done, Becky. I'm really proud of you. Good luck. Congratulations, Becky. We're proud of you. You're amazing, Becky. You made the whole school proud. Well done, Becky. You're the champion of champions. Well done, Becky, for being champions of champions. Whee!